Hello again. Welcome to a lovely sunny day in Wales. I'm in, well, I'm close to home again, but I'm just in the foothills of the Preseli Hills. So I've got Volcum Carwin over to my right and Volvedi just behind me. Uh, the aim of today is basically looking for tiny creatures. So grasshoppers, butterflies, anything like that. And I've come to this sort of boggy marshland in the foothills so that it's ideal location for them. Because grasshoppers in particular, I haven't heard for years. And so I'm hoping to get some really good shots. Now, I've got a telephoto on at the moment, but I've also got a macro lens in my bag because if I can get close enough, then the shots are going to be fantastic. But the joy with the telephoto is that I can be a little bit further away and I can get some shots without disturbing the wildlife. So that's a really great way to take macro, in other words. So I'm hoping that there's going to be some interesting wildlife around here. So cross your fingers, it could be a fantastic day. The weather's certainly good. As I said just now, I haven't heard grasshoppers for years. And it, it, it's strange because at one time, I used to hear them all the time, they were all over the place, but they've been almost silent for quite a good 10, 15 years now. But this year, for some reason, they're everywhere. Like now, I can hear them all around here roughly. And it's such a lovely sound to hear because it, it's, for me, it's a sound of summer. That scratchy noise they make, it, it's beautiful. And I think the joy of a location like this is it's ideal because it's not disturbed. It's years since anybody had much to do with this sheep graze it, but it's not really touched. So they're allowed to thrive here and it's fantastic. There should be more places like this. So I'm going to have a good look around. Listen for that characteristic scratchy sound and we should be really lucky. Now, the joy of this location is that it forms a natural V. You've got a road running back up where I was to begin with, and then you've got two rivers that converge down to form that natural V. And it means that you've got so many different habitats here because you've got the, the rivers, you've got the boggy ground, you've got the gorse, there's even trees dotted around here. So it makes a spectacular location. And it's beautiful. I've spent so many hours here over the years. It's one of my favourite places and I find it really inspiring. The Preseli Hills as a whole are a stunning location and a lot of people forget about them because when people come to Pembrokeshire it's always the south and they go to the beaches but the rugged north is fantastic. There's so many deep valleys, rivers, woodlands, it's a forgotten territory really in Pembrokeshire and I feel that so many people miss out but of course it's great for me because I virtually have the place to myself what a fantastic place to live so the basic thing you want to do here is to keep your eyes open obviously but also keep your ears open because the grasshoppers have got that characteristic scratching sound so I can see an odd one hopping around here I don't expect you can see it on there because they're so tiny but you just move slowly and you'll disturb them as you go and you'll then be able to track down where they are but this is a great combination ground here because you've got the tall tomaki grass and then lower cropped grass where the uh, sheep have been in so this is a really great spot and if we're lucky we might see some things as I said there's some moving around here but let's see whether I can find any well, there's one hopping around over there. They're quite silent over here now, though. That's the main thing. And then... Hold on, there's some movement in there. What is that? It's quite big. Oh, it's a frog! Oh, there's a, there's a grasshopper down here as well. Oh, let's see whether I can get you some... I'll, I'll try and have a look in. I'm using manual focus 
because the grasses are so tight together it's very difficult for any kind of autofocus point to uh, detect through all that jumble of chaos that's going on. Oh yeah, there he is, there he is, hold on, I've got him, yeah. So the only trouble with the telephoto lens, finding something is, is a bit tricky. Oh, that should, that, that's perfect, yeah. Right, stop that and try and get some photos. Right, let's see. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh, brilliant. Oh, what a great start. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on. Oh, yes, he's moved. Hold on, let's go around a bit. No, I can't get him from there. Uh, oh, I might be able to get just from... Yeah, that's it. can see him there. Yeah, that's got him. There's more photos there. Oh, brilliant. Oh, he's off again. He's off. Oh, yeah, crawled to the front now, basically. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, what a brilliant start. Right, I'll, I'll leave him alone. I don't want to disturb him much, but that is a great start. Fantastic. So I've had a bit of luck and managed to find one that's quite happy in his position. He's in inside a little mesh of grasses, so I've changed over to the macro lens and I'm going to try and gradually push through into the grasses to get as close as possible. But he seems quite happy. I've, I've set up here, I've changed lenses and he hasn't moved on, which is quite rare for today. They're uh, jumping all over the place. So if I'm very careful, I might be able to get him. The thing is, what you want to do is, I'm, I'm in manual focus now, I've, I've set it to a rough distance and I'll get close enough and I'll just rock back and forward to get that final touch of focus to really get a crisp image. But it's, it's a delicate process and <laughs> you'll probably jump off as soon as I try, but we'll give it a go. Right. Right, here we go. Right, very, very careful here. I'm probably going to end up groveling in the water here. It's very, very wet just here. Right. Gently does it. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. There, that's about it. No, I'm wobbling around too much. He's still there. Oh, that's really wet. Right, here we go again. Hold on, boy, where are you? There we are. There we are. That's good. Getting a bit closer. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's really good. Right. Steady there. Steady, steady. Right. Steady. There we go. There we go. That's another. Right. I'm going to back away. Right, let's try a different angle, see whether I can get him. Yeah, I can see him. Oh, steady boy. He's moving a bit. There we are. That's got him, that's got him. Well, he's moving, he's moving. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's just there now. Right. Ooh, squelchy. Right, let's see. No, no, I can't get him from there. He's moved too much. But those should be great. I, I think I'm, well, I'm really pleased with those. So uh, we'll see now. If we're really lucky, those will be fantastic images. And I, the light is great here just now. It's a bit, it's a bit bright because it's midday, but um, uh, that, those are going to be brilliant. <laughs> fantastic. Now butterflies are being pretty elusive today, but I've been very lucky. I've found, I think it's a large skipper here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to act quickly. I'm not going to record, I'm just going to take the photos. But I'm going to put up the pictures I've taken of butterflies so that you can see them. Only I have to act quick. <laughs> right, have a look at these. Oh, this is, I've never seen one of these before. It's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's quite a scintillating colour when you see it through you know, close up through the viewfinder. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. I think it's basically a little bit too windy for butterflies up here today. I've managed to catch a few 
uh, in the hollows but so far getting one on video I've not managed because they're off as soon as I've got grabbed a shot so I hope you like the images and if I do get some video I'll put it up but so far no luck but it's just lucky seeing them and seeing that large skipper it's amazing I, lo I love the ringlets as well because they're very very bold I love I mean they're, they're not super colorful but it's just a lovely butterfly and this is a fantastic location to find them in because they're usually all over here on a still day but today I think they're just hiding and keeping low down to avoid getting swept away but thankfully I've grabbed a few images well I think that's about it for today I've seen some brilliant things I mean that frog was such a beautiful surprise and that large skipper oh I'll never forget that it's so so colorful so I'm gonna leave it at that put up a few images for you to have a look at and thanks for watching see you next time